My next guest says the market is having all the wrong conversations about inflation right now, and he has the names he thinks will continue to perform well in this environment. Joining me now is Charlie Babrinskoy. He's the vice chair and head of the investment group at Ariel Investments. It's great to see you, Charlie. And what is your reaction to the inflation versus recession debate that is going on with some vigor right now? First of all, Kelly, after seeing Top Gun last night, I'm no longer responding to Charlie. I need you to call me by my call sign name, Value Man. <laughs> you as my friend can call me Val, but I just want to get that True straight up front. True to your stock picks. You're putting your ticket money where your investments are. Absolutely. Absolutely. A spectacular movie that's going to be a huge home run for Paramount this year. Um, the, the point is, uh, on, on inflation, what you have to do is not just say what you think. You have to compare what you think to what the market thinks. And as the professor just said, the market is baking in a pretty quick return to 2 to 3% inflation. That is what's baked into bond prices. That's how we get a 275 10 year. That's how we get tip prices where they are. And in my opinion, that is classic anchoring. It's where we've had this low inflation for a long period of time and people are not adjusting to the new data enough. In fact, we are going to have high inflation, well above the 2% target, certainly for this year, and well into next year. And then after that, we're going to have to see, because the Fed is still quantitative easing with an interest rates that are below neutral. We have a Fed fund rate less than 1% in a 6% inflationary environment. That's crazy. So there's still a lot of stimulus going on. And we think we're going to have inflation next year well above normal levels. Yeah, are they still easing? Have they got they're, they've they've started QT or that starts next month or or we got to be close? Yeah, but we Kelly, they have gone for you and I have been talking about inflation for more than 18 months and they were still buying 120 billion dollars of bonds every month, adding 120 billion dollars of cash to the economy every month even after it clearly we had an inflation problem. They finally stopped that. And now they're going to start modest quantitative tightening with modest interest rate increases that are way behind the curve. They're still pointing to this PCE inflation data, which is their preferred number because it's the lowest number. They exclude food and energy because those are the most inflationary factors. And so they tell us inflation is only 4%. It's not 4%. It's closer to 7%.